As I occasionally reflect on the United States debt clock, it's staggering to observe that our national debt is rapidly approaching an inconceivable $34 trillion. This pace of accumulation is so swift that it almost defies logic, like trying to outpace the speed of sound. To put this in perspective, back in 2000, the US debt to GDP ratio was a manageable 55%. Fast forward to today, and it has alarmingly risen to 122%. Breaking this down, every taxpayer's share of this debt is approximately $259,949, while per citizen, it's around 100,902. Adding the average personal debt per citizen of $74,892 into the mix paints a daunting financial picture. And yet, in a stark contrast, the average savings per family stand at a mere $11,387. This mismatch suggests an almost negligible chance of significant debt repayment. A reality perhaps reflected in the fact that the US M2 money supply has quadrupled since the year 2000. From my vantage point as an asset-based lender, I see this not as a mere shuffling of numbers within the US balance sheet, but as a profound misallocation of resources that generate minimal value. This is in stark contrast to our status as the world's largest economy. The fundamental principle behind incurring debt should be to generate value exceeding the cost of that debt. Unfortunately, we seem to have inverted this logic, accumulating debt far beyond our production capabilities. We need to cease digging ourselves deeper into this hole to avoid an economic burial. In my practice, I maintain a strict policy of lending against a minimum post-equity position of 30%. If the US balance sheet were a loan application, its post-equity position would be less than 4%, making it an utterly unviable lending prospect. The US debt to income ratio further solidifies the impracticality of lending under such conditions. Clearly, we are navigating through perilous financial waters, and the solution isn't more debt, it's economic recalibration. With other countries gradually divesting from US debt and seeking more stable currencies, we must turn inward to revitalize our economy and increase real GDP output. Continuously resorting to debt to address immediate financial crises only compounds our long-term problems, ultimately paving the way for an economy that benefits a select few at the expense of the majority. The goal of borrowing should be to enhance, not bankrupt, our future prospects. I encourage everyone to periodically review the US debt clock. The real solution lies in curtailing our borrowing habits because true prosperity comes when we produce more than we consume. That said, this has been Nathaniel with Fulford Lending. Thank you for watching.